I'm a retired U.S. Army soldier. I made the rank of sergeant. There's a gentleman by the name of Abdul Aziz Muhammad. Mm -hmm. He's a much older gentleman than myself. He's from the, actually from the Nation of Islam. And he just gave me a hard copy. I'll never forget it. It was green mm -hmm. with gold writing on the front. And I just started reading the Quran, that Quran, yeah. at random. The meaning of the Quran, not the Arabic, because I wasn't familiar with Arabic then. But the, the English meaning of the Quran, I found it fascinating. And I said, this is God talking. I just, uh, I broke down and I said, Allah was watching all the time. I think it's amazing that from the time that Nabi Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from the time that Jibreel met him and gave him al Quran from Allah, from God Almighty, that like you just said, that that book came to me. And that's over 1,400 years ago that it came to me in Detroit, Michigan in 1981. That's amazing. So brothers and sisters, that brother you saw there, he motivated me a lot. You know, I saw him and I've been seeing him coming to Darululum for the past, how many years? I'd like to call you up on stage, Brother Rashad Hassan, please. It's a pleasure. Takbir and give him a round of, round of applause, please. A loud round of applause. Very humble, simple brother. How many years now have we been seeing you come in here? About 20 years. Yes. I don't know if you understood what happened on the video, but he motivated me a couple of weeks ago when we did an interview with him. And that's why I thought that he will be a highlight to the program here tonight. Um, Hassan. Huh? Yes, sir. Is a retired sergeant in the army. And I'll just ask him two, three brief questions. And that's all we want to do here. Just to let you know why he motivated me. A little more in Dawa. Because when he said that the Quran changes life... I was like, wow. You know, sometimes I want to give up. Sister Veronica, I want to give up in distributing Quran throughout the world. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of lining up, post office, packages. Listen, it's a lot of work. That's why we ask you about donating $3 for one Quran, packaging and shipping. Because just to package and ship Throughout America and other countries, it's a lot. Sister Veronica and Trin Forwarding ship to Trinidad for free, but that's not the Caribbean we're talking about, America. Postage and packaging and shipping in America is very expensive. A little light letter is how much? 75 cents for a stamp? Something to that effect, right? I don't know. Nobody's, nobody mail anymore? So could you imagine about a thick Quran? Just a letter is 75, 80 cents. So what year did somebody give you that Quran? This is a sergeant in the army. He knew nothing of Islam before, and somebody just gave him a Quran. Just gave him a Quran. What year was that? 1981. 1981? 1981, yes, sir. 81, right? Yes, sir. 1981. I was not born then, but anyway, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just saying that because he told me, make sure you don't miscalculate this age thing here on the stage. So I said, all right. 1981. Look at since when. Did you know anything about Islam before that? Just heard a few concepts, but not about Islam. Nothing. And what happened when this person gave you? They just saw you and gave you a Quran. What happened after that? Um, he gave me the Quran, uh, Mamadou picked all. But the, I began to read it at random, and I saw that it wasn't from a human being. It was from, this was uh, God talking. Though it was just a translation, wow. but it was God talking. And that's what I needed to hear to change my life around. Uh, so you hear what he said when he got that book, and he started reading it. He realized this Quran was not a book written by man. It was a book written by God. The kind of things he read in the Quran. And what happened, what happened to your life after reading the Quran? I began to uh, make certain adjustments. It changed my whole agenda. It changed my way of looking at uh, this world. 
and it changed my, word, my way of looking at the afterlife, which was the most important one. It changed my whole view of that we're going to be judged one day and that we're, we're going to be accountable for our deeds and our shortcomings and things of that nature. And that Allah uh, forgives, that God Almighty forgives and gives you an opportunity uh, to correct ourselves. And I learned, too, over the years that the greatest, um, to use this term, struggle or jihad is the, the one against yourself. Excellent. The jihad is about fighting your own nafs and your own desire. How long after you got the Quran did you accept Islam? I would say maybe, wow, I would say maybe a few months. Oh, you okay. needed time to read the Quran, of course. Yes, uh, to read the Quran about the, the, uh, wonderful, uh, the wonderful stories about Nabi Yusuf, Nabi uh, Musa, Isa ibn Maryam, Muhammad, of course, all of them. And I, and I saw that they were all connected. You know, they were all connected and that they, they all practiced one religion, just in different styles. Mm -hmm. So very interesting, reading the Bible, reading the scriptures. When he got the Quran and he saw the oneness in the Quran with the prophets of the Bible, the Torah, and Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, these were the impact and changes in his life. And brother Hassan Rashad. Rashad Hassan. His three names. It's Ahmed Rashad Hassan. Ahmed Rashad Hassan. Yes, sir. And because the Quran changed his life, he said, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. And he, brother Zah, just sent me a note that he always remains back as a volunteer as a volunteer, and check and help count the money here at Darul Uloom. But he did impact my life because I never knew a Quran changed his life. Just off the street, someone gave it to him. And a couple of weeks ago, he met me, and he said, Brother, whatever I have and I can give, I'm going to give it to Al-Hikmat to, to distribute Quran throughout the world. Isn't that what you told me? Is that what you told me? Absolutely. See? And because he, his life changed by the Quran, he said, whatever Allah has given to him and he can distribute Quran, he's going to give it to us in al hikman So the brother, Jazakallah brother, oh sorry, almost made a mistake. <laughs> I know he's an army guy, you know, so he walks like that and everybody wants to know. So thank you very much for being here. Give him a round of applause again, everybody. MashaAllah and takbir.